The Coolfire 4 Plus is Inikin's latest device in its Coolfire line of batteries. Packing a 3300 mAh battery, up to 70 watts of power, and quick charge support, it's poised to be the top contender on your vaping holiday list this year. Coming in at about 3.5 inches tall, 1.5 inches wide, and 3 quarters of an inch deep, it packs a lot of punch in a smallish form factor. Currently, it comes in one of two kits, either with an iSub G or Inikin's top fill tank, the iSub Apex. While I have to admit to not being a huge fan of the iSub line of tanks, the iSub G really complements the tank well. It's your standard bottom fill tank and has support for a wide range of coils, including Inikin's recently introduced temperature controlled coils and Clapton coils. We've covered the iSub G and iSub Apex before on the site, so I won't spend too much time on that. Just know that the iSub line of tanks, while not being the best tanks on the market, are solid choices, especially for new vapors. And that's where I think this kit really shines. For less than $80, you get a high-powered mod, tank, and 2.5-ohm coils. It's basically the perfect beginner setup only needing to purchase juice. It definitely edges out the Kangaroo's sub-box kit by not only offering more power, but not having to purchase batteries separately. Running it with the iSub G and a 0.5-ohm coil at 30 watts gives me about a day and a half to two days of battery life. Obviously, using a more powerful coil could substantially reduce the battery life. It's not a problem since the Coolfire 4 Plus also supports quick charging technology, where you could charge up the battery to about 80% within 30 minutes. Unfortunately, you'll need a charger that supports quick charge since the kit only provides a standard charger. Though, these days they're becoming more and more common in cell phones. Basically, you just need a charger that supports an output of 5 volts by 2 amps and a micro USB cable that won't melt under that much amperage. Besides the quick charging, which I have to admit is one of my favorite features of the device, it's hands down the nicest looking mod I own. Not only does it look nice, at only 170 grams and with its ergonomic curves, it feels nice too. It's probably the lightest mod with the built-in battery I've ever held. Features wise, it's on par with all of Anakin's current offerings. It functions almost exactly like the MVP 3.0 Pro did, and the only feature it's missing is temperature control, but in my opinion, temperature control is a waste anyway, so no loss there. You could switch between wattage and voltage mode, and just like the MVP 3.0 Pro, it has a memory feature that remembers the last setting when switching between both. It also has a hit counter, hit timer, battery voltage display, LED, and bright OLED screen. So how does it stack up against other mods? Comparing it against the original Coolfire 4 is pointless, Though they look similar, the 4 beats the original in every category. I think a closer comparison would be against the MVP 3.0 Pro. Even though I really like the MVP 3.0 Pro, the Coolfire 4 has quickly become my favorite device. Sure, the MVP 3.0 Pro has a bigger battery and the ability to charge other devices from it, it's bigger, heavier, and just doesn't reach the amount of power that the Coolfire 4 does. To sum it all up, I really like the Coolfire 4 Plus. It looks nice, it's comfortable to hold, and has all the power most people will need. Not only is it a great starter kit for someone just getting into vaping, it makes a solid everyday battery for even the most experienced vapor.